In this class we will learn how to insert forces into the model for dynamic simulation. For the applications of this class we will use this simple and didactic set, however, the concepts that will be learned can be executed in more complex mechanisms. See that this set has translational movement. We will insert a translational motion joint, and also a constant force associated with this joint, to verify the movement caused by the application of this force. Note that the gasket was automatically added by inventor as he considered the component assembly restrictions and identified the gasket that applies to this mechanism. See that it is more difficult to move parts with the mouse in the dynamic simulation environment. Because in doing so, the inventor considers a vector force, and calculates the movement caused by this force. Let's simulate the movement caused by a continuous force of 0.01N on this piece. To do this, we launch the force tool, located in the load tool group of the ribbon menu. With the location button activated, we must select the location of the force. We can select points or vertices. In this case, we select this point. With the direction button activated, we select an edge or face that defines the direction of the force. See that the inventor shows us the force vector, and to change its direction, just click this button. In magnitude, we must report the value of force. We can enter a numeric value, or, by clicking this arrow, enable the insertion of this information through the graph. In the graph, we can configure the desired curve, and thus get the strength values. We set a constant value of 0.01N for strength. With this button activated, the direction of the force is fixed in the absolute coordinate system of the assembly. By pressing this other button, we can associate the direction of this force with another component that has an associated force. For example, if there was another piece pushing this component, we could leave this button active. However, since it has no related forces, we keep this button on, which keeps the direction of the force fixed. By clicking this arrow, we open other options for force insertion. See that we can apply force through vector components relative to X, Y and Z axes, enabling the use of vector components by clicking on this box. In FX, we define the value of the force vector on the x-axis of the coordinate system displayed at the force location. In Phi, we set the value of the force vector on the y-axis of the coordinate system displayed at the force location. In FZ, we define the value of the force vector on the z-axis of the coordinate system displayed at the force location. To keep the magnitude depending on the configured direction, simply disable the use of vectors by clicking on this box again. By triggering the display box, we leave the vector visible during the simulation, and we can configure its scale and color. By configuring the scale, we change the size that this vector will appear in the drawing window. We can also change the color that this vector will have. We clicked OK and that's it, the force has been configured for this model.
see that the force has been added to the project tree. To trigger the gravitational force, we right-click on it, in the project tree, and then on Define Gravity. We can insert it through vector components, relative to the x, y, and z axes, or by determining its direction through the components. With this button activated, we choose a face, edge or reference point within the fixed parts of the model. That is, we cannot select a face, edge or reference point of moving parts. We can change its direction by clicking this button. In magnitude, we set the value for the acceleration of gravity, which by default comes filled 9810 mm s squared. Which is the same as 9.81 m s squared, which is the average gravitational acceleration of the Earth. We click OK and that's it, the model is subjected to gravitational force. Although this plane has been selected as a reference, the gravitational force acts on the entire set, since this selected plane is reference only. See the result of the constant force and gravity set for this set. In this class, we learn how to insert forces into the model for dynamic simulation.